Question one. So it says use trapezium rule. It's in the formulae book, okay? There's no excuse on this question, right? It's just the numerical methods. And it's just putting these numbers in here. Remember, all trapezium rule is, is if you've got some curve and you're trying to work out the area under it, then all you're doing is you're just estimating with, effectively, with trapeziums, okay? Spin it up. And the smaller these strips are, then the better your approximation is going to be. So what you've got to do is you've just got to feed these numbers into here, okay? And they've even been really kind and actually given us the values, okay? So we don't even need to work those out. The only thing that we need to know for the formula is, is, H, is, is that's like the, the distance of the interval, okay? So, so that bit is 0 0.5. And then we can just feed the rest in, okay? Uh, when I do this, I tend to work it out in stages. So I might do this bit first, um, and then times it by two, and then add the other bits, and, and multiply it by half, and the, uh, that 0 0.5 there as well. Okay, now when you do this, um, don't lose marks here. Let's say three significant figures, and it's 1.50 to three significant figures. When you got onto part B, what's what's the what's the difference there? Okay, what's the difference between this and this? Well, the difference is this little nine just here. Okay, so the square root of nine is three, isn't it? So if we want to take the the that nine outside, look, just think about really what the difference is. So this is going to be three times this. So the answer here would just be to multiply our previous estimate by three. So obviously that's 4.5. Put zero there to be correct, I suppose. Right, and then the last part says comment on how good this actually is. So it's given us the exact figure. Our figure is 4.50. So all you got to do here is just to write down, well, kind of, they're sort of pretty much the same, aren't they? Pretty close, right? It's approximately, it's close. 